smooth flight for passengers. It's like driving on a clear highway instead of a bumpy road. Now here's a bonus math fact. At higher altitudes airplanes can take advantage of something called the jet stream. These are fast-moving air currents that can boost an aircraft's speed. Imagine a wind blowing at 150 to 250 miles per hour in the same direction as your plane. The result? Faster travel time and even less fuel consumption. So flying high is not just about safety. It's a perfect combination of fuel efficiency, speed, and comfort. Now you might ask, why don't airplanes fly even higher? Well, there's a limit. As you go higher, the air becomes extremely thin, making it harder for the engines to generate thrust. Also, passenger cabins are pressurized to simulate a comfortable environment. Flying too high would put stress on the aircraft's structure. So the sweet spot for most commercial aircraft is around 35,000 to 40,000 feet. High enough to be fuel efficient. Low enough to maintain cabin pressure and performance. So here's a quick recap. Why do airplanes fly so high? Less air resistance equals less fuel consumption. Avoiding bad weather and turbulence. Taking advantage of jet streams. Faster and smoother travel experience. It's all about the perfect balance of safety, efficiency, and comfort. So the next time you look out of your airplane window and see yourself flying above the clouds, remember, there's a lot of smart mathematics behind it. If you found this video informative, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel Aviator and let me know in the comments. Did you know this before? Until next time. Keep flying high.